How to upgrade Linux Mint tends to be one of those um, elusive questions it's hard to find the answer to. Um, first you need to go into Synaptic and um, search for a tool called um, mint-upgrade-tool-main. Um, if for whatever reason you're not finding it, you can just do a search for Mint, M-I-N-T, and scroll through the list and you will quickly find it. Um, then, when you go into the uh, nice little main menu here, um, I just type in M-I-N-T, and um, here you, you can see, hopefully you can see, it's a little blurry on this screen. But uh, the option there says upgrade to Linux Mint 8 Mint Upgrade Tool. So um, I'm guessing this is the tool that's used to upgrade from one to the next regardless of what operating system, you know, which version you're using or whatever. Um, it says here upgrading to Linux Mint 8 Helena. Each step below will turn green when finished. Um, making backups of the files which will be overwritten upgrading base to Ubuntu 9.10 karmic installing additional packages performing apt distribution upgrade ensuring all upgrades are applied installing additional mint packages adjusting post upgrade system configuring gconf reconfiguring artwork package and cleaning up um, the reason that they don't make this incredibly easy to locate and, and find and install and do here is because the, the Mint Upgrader is, well, for lack of a better term, is not yet idiot-proof. So unless you really know what you're doing, it's easy to barf an upgrade. And even if you do really know what you're doing, it's still possible to barf an upgrade, regardless. <clears throat> so that's why they say that um, you should always just do a fresh install of Linux Mint because, you know, it's better and more stable and whatever. There's no chances of this. But the way I see it is that um, if you have to back up all your crap and, you know, to ensure that you're not going to lose anything when you, when you do an upgrade, and you have to back up all your crap to ensure you're not going to lose anything, you know, with a full install, what the hell is the difference? <laughs> You know, you may as well try the upgrade, and if it works, then you still got your desktop and, and all that stuff and everything exactly as you had it before, no problem. If it doesn't work, then you just do the full install. So I don't really see the big deal. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, that's how to do it. So just, um, you know, just search Synaptic for that tool and um, go through the motions. It'll guide you step by step.